Hey guys, how's it going? I'm out here on this beautiful morning with my brand new Spectre Ballistics International LPC. For those of you who don't know, this is another Canadian made straight pull receiver. It's designed to take all your AR-15 pattern parts. Uh, I built this one up using parts that I ordered from True North Arms. Uh, it's a pretty budget build. I got kind of the most basic mill spec parts you could get. Uh, I got a 10.5 inch barrel here. Mine is chambered in 223. Got a nice little bushnell scope on there. So I'm going to take it out and see how it performs. All right, most of these were just kind of getting zeroed in, but uh, this was an actual group that I shot. Um, you know, it's about uh, two MOA, I would say, rough guess. Uh, not bad for a first time out. I'm sure we can dial that in a lot, but overall I'm really happy with it so far. So, first impressions. Uh, that was a lot of fun to shoot, first of all. it is loud. The straight pull mechanism, uh, it was a bit to get used to at first. This one is not spring assisted like the MRA offerings. So you really gotta cycle that action vigorously to get it to chamber and extract properly. Uh, and I assume a lot of that probably has to do with the fact that it's a brand new build. You know, these are all new parts just uh, kind of getting the mesh together. So. Toward the end, it actually got a bit easier, so I assume with time, it's, it's only going to get easier. If you're looking into getting one of these platforms for yourself, um, basically my thoughts would be, if you're looking for something to put your AR-15 parts on and kind of uh, fill that AR-shaped hole in your heart, this probably isn't it. Uh, comparing a semi-automatic to uh, a bolt action, it's just apples and oranges. Uh, there really is no comparison so i feel if you get one for that purpose you're probably going to be disappointed and it's just going to make you sad whenever you look at it if you really want to use your ar again i would suggest just taking that money and donating it to one of the legal actions because that's going to be your best bet for uh, getting to use that again it sucks but it is what it is according to specter ballistics themselves that was never really their intended purpose for this platform. They started working on it before there was any news of a ban. And if you look at it in that regard, it makes a lot of sense. Uh, I'd say what this gun actually would go up against would be something like the Remington 700 PCR SB. So it's also a, a short 10 inch barrel uh, rifle chamber. You're able to get it chambered in 300 blackout or 223. Um, and I would say that's this platform's main competitor. And in that regard, I would say this has a few advantages. Uh, first of all, you can actually get them. Uh, since Remington's gone under, uh, I don't know how many of those rifles actually made it into Canada. Uh, I assume it's not many. Uh, second of all, this could potentially be cheaper. I think those hit a street price of, I want to say it was around like $1,400. Uh, I got this receiver set on sale. It was, um, 
think, Five ninety nine, something like that, and then basically built it up with the the cheapest parts I could find. Another advantage this has is weight. Uh, this one I weighed it without the bipod and the optic. Uh, it came in to under five pounds. I think it was like four pounds eleven ounces. So just a really light, handy, short rifle. Uh, the overall length on this is uh, just over twenty six inches. So if that's what you're looking for. A short, handy little rifle that you can kind of sling over your back and uh, take out in the woods with you, um, carry it around all day. This I would highly recommend. The straight pull action has its own pros and cons. Uh, pro is it's a little bit faster. Uh, you can probably stay on target a little bit easier than you can with the traditional bolt gun. Uh, one of the disadvantages, as I saw, was there's no primary extraction. so. Depending on what kind of ammo you're using or your barrel and bolt interface, uh, you could have some extraction issues. And like I said, you really have to kind of work that action vigorously to make sure you don't have any issues. Overall, I'd say what this platform really brings to the table is the ability to use a lot of really nice aftermarket um, AR parts. You could really deck this thing out, make it super light, super handy, super accurate, and uh, use a lot of the parts that you might already have in your collection. Anyway, that's basically it for now. Thanks for watching, and I think I'm going to go take a few more shots with this. See you next time.